T-Account rules. This will demonstrate the T-Account rules using the reverse image approach to learning debits and credits, which are introduced in Chapter 2. Remember that T-Accounts are a visual representation of the general ledger. That means that the debit and credit rules discussed during this video hold true for the actual general ledger as well as for T-accounts. This video will give you a visual representation of when debits increase or decrease an account and when credits increase or decrease an account. Keep in mind that when you do your problems, you may be using T-accounts, but many times you will be using the actual general ledger itself, which is demonstrated in the textbook. The, the equation that we learned in the prior chapter uh, for the accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. Assets are um, increased with a debit and decreased with a credit. When, for all T accounts, the debit is on the left-hand side, abbreviated as DR, and the credit is on the right-hand side, abbreviated as CR. Again, assets are increased with a debit, that's why the plus is there, and decreased with a credit, which is why the minus is there. Liabilities. Liabilities follow different rules. Liabilities still have the debit and the credit on the left and right hand side respectively. However, debits will decrease liabilities while credits will increase liabilities. Equity. Equity is also increased with a credit and decreased with a debit. So that as a summary, assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And again, assets are increased with a debit, decreased with a credit. And those assets will equal the total of the liabilities, again, decreased with a debit, increased with a credit, plus the equity accounts, which are increased with a credit, decreased with a debit. Now I have uh, a more specific equity account rule breakdown here because this is where it gets more complicated. The actual two equity accounts are capital stock and retained earnings on the left. Those are the true equity accounts. Both are decreased with a debit, increased with a credit. However, retained earnings is an accumulation, if you will, of revenues minus expenses minus dividends and that is why those are in a bracket on the right hand side and they have separate rules amongst themselves but combined together to add or subtract uh, to increase or decrease retained earnings revenues are decreased with a debit increased with a credit why because revenues remember that's like sales money's coming in sales transactions selling stuff to customers so if we credit that, and, and it's an increase with a credit, that will translate to an increase with retained earnings, to retained earnings, because that's also an increase with a credit. Expenses uh, are increased with a debit and decreased with a credit. Okay, why is that? Well, because expenses are a cost, right? So they will reduce income, and they will reduce uh, retained earnings. So if we increase expenses with a debit, that really translates to a decrease or debit to retained earnings. Likewise for dividends. Dividends are payments to shareholders. Increase with a debit, decrease with a credit. All right, so, and that stands to, stands to reason because when you pay out dividends, you are reducing retained earnings. So if you increase dividends with a debit, that reduces, in the end result is a is a uh, reduction to retained earnings or a debit. Uh, 
And when we get to the fourth chapter, chapter four, you'll see all this actually come together so that you'll see how revenues minus expenses minus dividends are what change retained earnings from year to year. So in summary, the rules for specific accounts that affect equity, capital stock, decrease with a debit, increase with a credit, retained earnings, debit is a decre decrease as a debit, increases a credit. Revenues decreases a debit, increases a credit. Expenses increase debit, decrease credit. And dividends increase debit, decrease credit.